A chapter of this pandemic is coming to a close here in the Hub City after four months of four months of operation. This is the final week that the health department's free vaccine clinic will be happening over at the Civic Center. KBK's Olivia Whitehead joining us now. How will people get their shots now? Well, for starters, they're making it a lot more accessible for folks in the area. So instead of operating at one of the big clinics, they're working on hosting multiple pop up clinics and say that they have plenty of doses left to give out. Now it's time to kind of shut this phase down of vaccinations and really start focusing on reaching individuals who have not do not feel comfortable either coming to the Civic Center or maybe hesitant. That means going out to where the community is. So you'll see health department staff out at the mall, we'll be at different festivals, we'll be at churches. We're going to come to you and offer you that vaccine. The health department closing the book on the clinic at the Lubbock Memorial Civic Center. Given over 100,000 vaccines um, and it's been a huge community effort with health department, Lubbock Fire and Rescue, um, our medical students, volunteer nurses. On Tuesday, reopening the Johnson & Johnson vaccine to the public after a recommended pause by the CDC and FDA. A new shipment today, so we probably have at least 10,000 doses of Johnson & Johnson at the health department, so we have plenty to give to people. But there remains some hesitancy. Data suggests that uh, of those who haven't been vaccinated in the U.S., less than one in four is interested in the J and J vaccine now, which is why local health officials aren't canceling out the other two. There are alternatives. You could get the Moderna vaccine or the Pfizer vaccine. The bottom line is the risk of this happening is still very small relative to the risk of, of getting COVID. With thousands of doses available, they say the benefits outweigh the risks. This has been part of our health department life. I mean, we are, we're here four days, but then you spend the other days planning and prepping and getting things ready. The next stage is the outreach, and that has its own challenges and its own benefits. So it's just a change. Yes. It's always going to be a change. Now, Saturday, May 1st is the last day to get into the clinic. After that, the health department will be announcing their new location each week. To follow along, you can always follow them on social, social media or head over to their website that shows.